Hello, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Sophie. I am currently au pairing in Italy, and today I thought I would bring you my au pair schedule that I do with the children. So I work here with two children, and they are both seven years old, they're twins. And I thought I'd just show you what I kind of do with them on a daily basis. Now, I normally work around four hours a day with them, normally in the afternoons. So when they get back from school until dinner time. So I'm just going to show you my schedule. Obviously, everyone else, like everyone's different. Everyone can have a different timetable. But in case you are looking for ideas to do with your children, your au pair um, children or in a school or anything like that, then here are some ideas that I've been doing for probably the last month now and they really really like it um <clears throat> first of all like children love to have a schedule they love to know what's ha what's coming next they love to know what they're doing tomorrow what they're doing after school they love to brag like oh when i'm finishing i'm doing i'm cooking or i'm doing this so it's a really good idea and i basically have this it is a massive 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 piece of card which me and the mum together decided to colour, write in basically just a schedule. So as you can see, I'm going to add little pictures when I'm talking about the certain days. But I basically just put here other times. So basically like every half an hour, every hour we change subject. If we have like a longer subject, I put like, but it's every half an hour. So from 4 until 8.30, which is we have dinner at 8, so basically here. <clears throat> I just put like food and then here at the top the days of the week and I also decided to add as you can see little um, designs and things like that to make it cuter. Okay so as I normally do in my other videos um, I'll put a picture up here of what I'm talking about so I'm gonna go day by day. So Monday. Monday, um, basically whenever they get back from school they're hungry because they eat really early at uh, school, they have lunch at school. So when they get back we have a snack, um, so basically I just put like in half an hour time for their snack when sometimes we also do their kind of school homework during that snack time because they don't really have a lot, they're only seven. After that we do computer, now they have a computer for the two of them together and they love to learn how to use it. So basically once a week we do a little computer class, so for example one day we've done photo editing, one day we've done video editing, um, we've done like writing, learning how to use Word, loads of things like that and they really really like it so we do that for like around half an hour. And then after I've done a school subject, basically it's just kind of things that they're doing at school in Italian teaching them in it like in English at the same time so for example the other day they did the five senses in Italian so we did them in English and I'm also at the same time teaching them a bit of geography like continents countries and that because they're always like they're really curious like all children and they're always asking what to do uh, then I have English class so we have English class every day because basically I'm here to teach them English so we have English every day and it's the longest um, class as you can see it's about an hour and a half and we basically do all the books that I mentioned in one of my previous videos which I will um, link here if you haven't actually seen it and then to finish off we have theatre now sometimes this is like taking pictures taking videos to then edit the next week on the computer or just doing a play dressing up they love dressing up they love like inventing like things they love acting they love vlogging themselves um, it's so 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 cute so we do things like that on the Monday and then after as every single day they have a shower and then we have food at around 8. So Tuesday obviously we always start off with a snack so we have snack and after snack we have music class. They have been playing the violin for a couple of years so sometimes we'll do like a little violin class but mostly we do um, English songs like for example when it was Halloween we did Halloween songs the other day we did Old MacDonald Had a Farm so basically learning English songs because they love Disney they love like singing they love musicals so we do that and then we have Spanish obviously I know Spanish as well if you've known my channel and um, the kids really love to learn Spanish so I have a little Spanish really 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 basic book and we've been doing lately the numbers and the colours and things like that and like, hola, me llamo mm, Sophie. So, 
we do Spanish and they absolutely love that class like they they are asking like oh can we not do Spanish every day like they love it so yeah I'm really happy with that then obviously as always we have English also in English sometimes we do like mini exams like once a week we'll have an exam where I'll just say a word and they have to write it down to see if they know how to write words and they also like create stories and things like that which they love um, and they love like when I give them like a mark out of 10 and things like that and then we have art because they love to draw so sometimes we'll be do do like drawing we'll do painting um we'll make crafty things like when it comes more to like a holiday so for example for um halloween we did like halloweeny crafts when it comes to christmas we'll be doing halloween uh, oh, we'll be doing christmas stuff um and then shower and food as always and Wednesday, now before was a bit of a different day because they had swimming class and they didn't actually get back till six o'clock. But since the swimming, pool, the swimming pools have been closed, we haven't, um, they've been here with me basically. So um, even though it's kind of rubbed off, we've had snack. And after that, we've kind of, maybe one day if we do too much computer, um, we don't have time to do school, so we kind of catch up on things that we haven't done the previous days. And if not, we do games, which is like a fun thing. We do bingo, we do Monopoly, Frustration, Uno, loads of different English games, Pictionary that they love. And then again, English, and we do gym. Now this doesn't happen every week, some weeks um, we're like too late doing the English. But mostly we've been doing like Zumba, um, Just Dance, Yoga just things to get them kind of either to get them energized or to reduce their energy a little bit because that's also needed at times okay uh, moving on to thursday we have the snack as always but this time is normally different because we do some cooking so this is our kind of cooking baking day so for example when it was halloween we did a halloween feast and we actually made dinner for the parents um but there is other days that we do like baking like we've done muffins we do cakes we do biscuits and if we do something like that then we normally have that for the snack and we won't have like a normal school snack and if not we'll have the snack then do some cooking baking while it's like cooling down or heating or being cooked or being baked we will then do our spanish and english class so we'll do um for example in spanish whatever we did on the book on tuesday on thursday we'll do in the notebook and then english whatever happens to be that day and then after we have school but this sometimes doesn't happen if we are baking because maybe after english we'll go back and sort out the food or decorate the biscuits or whatever happens like that and then shower and food i'm kind of repeat repeating myself but as you can see they always shower and they always eat and then finally friday this is a very different day because as soon as they finish school at four they go straight <clears throat> to another village to another town and they have informatic class, which is, which is like PC computer class. Obviously, we've already established they love computers and everything to do with it. And when they go to that class, they do robotics. Now, because these children loved it so, so much, they've extended their class from one hour to one hour and a half. So even though here it says they get back at 6.30, they actually get here at 7. So we do not have really any time for anything. We normally do, like this was Friday was yesterday, so I can tell you what we did yesterday. As soon as they get back, we did English, we did a story, we did an exam, we did the English books. And then the parents came up to look at what they did during the week because they love to see what they've been doing and that was the time so it's two hours normally on fridays we do don't actually shower because they'll either do some like activities on saturday like go to the park or the, like they can shower on saturday so they don't really need to shower friday night but mostly it does say here english and crafts but we probably mostly don't have time for crafts and we mostly um center on english so again if we haven't done crafts that day we'll maybe do it on wednesday um which is the swimming time we just kind of catch up and do what we can but every 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 day they have to do English and then every other day Spanish and then just random little activities. Also, if like when we finish English someday and they've kind of been really good, we might have a little game of Monopoly, a little game. They might do some drawing, which is what they mostly like to do. Um, so, yeah, it just depends on how they are. And I'm just going to show you one last thing that I do with them, which is good to keep them motivated, but also to keep them acting good. Okay, so I don't know if I've actually shown these in another video, but we have these reward stars. Now, these come in gold, silver, and also in red, which I think is one of the last ones. Yeah. 
So they have gold, silver, red. So depending on how they have been that day with me, they will get a star, like depending on their attitude and their like behavior. So um, I have this kind of like schedule book, which has all the days of the week. So I write their names. So the two names and then next to it I will put the star of the day. So they can have gold if they've been really good, silver if they've been okay, and then red if they've been bad. And basically I bought this from Tiger, it's like a euro and it has like so so many like pages. So this is amazing for that and I just blue tack it onto the board and every day I will give them a sticker and it keeps them like oh no, like Lada or... And it keeps them like, oh, no, no, don't do that because you'll get a red sticker. And it does keep them thinking and wanting to get the gold. So every day they're like, oh, oh, did we get a gold? What star did we get? And then like, oh, tell mummy what star we got. So it keeps them um, really motivated to do well. So that is it. That is my schedule with the children. I hope you liked it. I hope it gave you some ideas. If you have any questions, please put them down below. And I will see you soon for another video. Bye.